right, so what is going on guys and welcome back to Too Much Tech and in today's video, we are gonna be reviewing the Techware Phantom RGB. One of the cheapest fully featured hot swappable keyboards you can currently find on Amazon for about $45. Is it worth it? Let's see. Thanks to Techware for sending out this keyboard. They did not sponsor this video, but they did send out the product for review. My copy of the Phantom is the Phantom 87 or the tankulous version of the keyboard that features hot swappable old Tenmu switches. I like the fact that this keyboard is very low profile compared to a lot of other tankulous keyboards that I have tried in the past. Most of them they'll have the 87 keys and then there will be a ton of stuff around the keyboard that you don't necessarily need i'm not the biggest fan of so i'm just glad that at least they use a standard tank keyless layout just a tiny bit of space around the keys on the edges and that's it nothing crazy nothing extra all the shortcuts are built into the keyboard and printed on the keycaps so that's really nice speaking of the keycaps these are some double shot abs keycaps not gonna lie these are not the worst abs keycaps i've ever tried these are actually pretty good and over the couple weeks that I've been using this keyboard I still have yet to notice any shine so I do think that the quality of these ABS keycaps are pretty good the legends are clear I don't really have any issues with any of the keys at all like I said they don't have any shine they seem to be pretty durable I would say that this keyboard does have a solid set of quality ABS keycaps if you happen to not like them or just want to customize it these keys are MX compatible so you can swap out the keycaps yourself and put on your own custom set of keycaps. The typing and gaming experience is okay. Not the best I've ever tried, but that's mostly due to the switches. The switches on my unit are the Otemu blue switches, which personally I'm more of a linear guy. It's just my preference because the linear seem to be a bit quieter where the blue clicky and loud tactile switches are really loud. If you get the blue version because you want a louder mechanical keyboard, definitely be sure to turn on RTX voice because if you don't, your friends will hate you. Luckily, if you did end up getting the blue version of this keyboard, just make sure that you buy some Otemu reds or browns because they will be much quieter. And it only takes a minute to swap out all the keys because they are hot swappable. I did try to use some Kale and Gatoron switches on this keyboard and they were not compatible. So unfortunately you are only able to use Otemu switches, but they're not horribly expensive either. So it's not gonna cost you an arm and a leg to try some different switches either. The RGB and customization inside of Techware software is very easy to do and use. If you wanna see me use the Techware Phantom software, I will have a link down below in the description to the unboxing video where I unboxed it. I set it up, I played with the software a little bit, gave my thoughts there. So feel free to check out that video link below. I do like the fact that there are onboard controls to control the RGB as well. So if you don't want to use the software or install the software, you can control the RGB effects without the need for software. But you just get a little bit more control by having that software. But you get some basics like change the effect and the speed and whatnot. So it's nice that at least you have the basics. With this keyboard, I really only had two issues because there really isn't a ton of bad things about it. It was high adjustable so box one checked it's low profile box two checked even though the techware does have a low profile version of this keyboard um, i think that's either coming out soon or it might already be out i think it's called the phantom l it has rgb check and it is pretty aesthetically pleasing for a stealth build like i said there's only two bad things about this keyboard that i was able to come up with so number one it's not a detachable cable so you can't use custom cables unfortunately with this keyboard you don't have USB-C or micro USB, it's just one fixed cable, which I'm not a fan of. At least the cable is on the left side of the keyboard so it doesn't get in the way of your mouse at all and it looks a little bit better and it's cleaner to be able to route the cable on your desk. But the other downfall is that the stabilizers are not the best. Can you lube them and stuff like that? Yes, you can lube them to make them sound a little bit better, but um, just from the factory, they come and they are a little bit on the more rattly side. They're not really the worst stabilizers I've ever heard, but they're not the greatest either. But overall, for $45, I can't really fault this keyboard that much because 
in its price range, you have a ton of really good features. You have RGB, you have customizable perky RGB at that. You got a solid layout for gaming. Tenculus is great to give you extra space on your mouse pad. It's low profile and stealthy. And the double shot ABS keycaps are pretty good. And the fact that you can hot swap this keyboard and try out blues, reds, brown switches from Otemu really easily and quickly, that's really nice in itself. If you're new to PC gaming, and you just built your rig and you don't really have a lot of extra money to spend on peripherals, I would recommend picking this up as your first keyboard. You will not be disappointed. And if you're looking for your first mechanical keyboard, I think that this one is a good buy at a low price. But all right, guys, that is gonna be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. If you're new, comment in the comment section below and let me know what you guys think of the TechWare Phantom. Do you think it's worth $45? I definitely do. Also, be sure to check the description for my Discord channel. Be sure to join that as well. I have a, not really a poll, but I have a channel specifically set up for what should we do for the next giveaway? What product should we give away? Should we give away a gift card? Should we give away a product? I was thinking a keyboard. Maybe we give away a TechWare Phantom 87 TKL with RGB. I don't know. I don't know. Comment in the comment section below. Join the Discord. Comment in that channel. Let me know what you think. But all right, you guys, that's it. I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.